Silver Star slash Golden Moon. The host told my wife and I to go to Golden Moon to speak to VIP about having a suite as a complimentary, and due to being the other property has more rooms. We will look after you Mr. Monroe. Go to VIP. At Golden Moon VIP I spoke to the person VIP in charge. He explained with his calculator that we could not get a better room due to the fact the hotel stays based on each day's play, and there was nothing he could do. He did ring and contact the host the at Silver Star Casino and said, Did you promise Mr. Monroe and free hotel suite upgrade? Inverted question mark curricula diga unimentera. Ale mi este haciendo trabajar por miles de nero jimmy ale es un jugador pobre y no gastar ten mil nacas y una tarjeta de estrella de plata azul. De la habitación sucia sucio, de la sucio y el nunca le pedirá de nuevo. Record a QS un espacio libre de un bar de y no es una sala de pagar las hu espadas. I said I was not promised anything and this makes me look like a liar. I was told to come over here and ask VIP services. He said they had a lot of rooms available that night also but could not let my wife and I stay in a suite due to just arriving and my loss was at $14 at the time. He told me, all card members are treated equal, no matter what card color they have. I told him in the past we have stayed in a suite before. He looked and said, this was back in August, but since the new casino chief has been appointed, we have to base your stay on what you spend for this day and hours spend not on weekly or monthly anymore but the policy is daily bets. What also pissed me off here, is not that I did not get my own way. He was speaking to the host in another language as I was sitting. Saying to the host. It will cost the host $150 extra as I could gather to be located to a suit. Jimmy, inverted question mark por que enviras de diota de aquí, podríamos dar el espacio para el y su esposa. El tonto y estupido actuar hayes lo cute y die. Audio speaking in another language about me made me feel belittled. He said he could not discuss my wife's play, but joining together it did not get us an upgrade. Okay I accepted after speaking to the VIP for about half an hour. And he told me about the new rules. So he booked me into a room, he said. It was the one with double doors that fold out between the bath and bedroom. He asked me does it matter what floor I stay on? I said no, so I was placed on room 1023. Being the 10th floor. I found my back on the casino floor meeting up with my wife at the Silver Star Casino again, and told her. We did not spend enough today to qualify for an upgrade and it is based on daily spending. My wife said, after all the loyalty we have given them they say we have not spent enough here and it is based on our daily spending. So we stayed for the next 10 hours each playing at a loss. As usual in this place. In the morning we went to VIP again and asked if we qualify based on our daily spending and sitting at the seat was a stranger talking to the VIP girl at the golden moon. She was discussing our play as the stranger man was sitting at the desk. And she said we do not qualify for an upgrade and do not listen to the host or what you was told last night. She would not listen to the request of a room change. I asked also due to the hours of play we have put in can we get a complimentary meal she said. You have three dollars on your card and your wife has three dollars also trying to bleed us dry more and playing dumb as if she never knew of meal complimentaries. At a casino. We knew if she could discuss our business in the face of a stranger she had no respect for us as customers. I told my wife about the mold in the shower, but we did not discuss this with the Golden Moon VIP as she was not going to help with the thing the no is the final word. We knew she was not going to help us with a change of room or upgrade. Everything others tell you as staff is wrong, we have to answer to managers if we help you our grant requests. We worked out for ourselves we could use the bath, but the bath water was all brown and rusty in color due to what we think not being used. So we added a disinfectant to the bath water to manage germs. The black coffee cups had this white fluff in it like it was cleaned with toilet paper and it dried out and put back next to the coffee pot. We have had cups with lipstick still on them, the sink in the bathroom still had toothpaste on the water hose and in the bowl of the sink and was not cleaned at all. By this time I was thinking these people at this hotel are filthy and gave us a dirty room. I could still see coffee stains as if the room was used for a party and quickly cleaned up. My wife and I was feeling so exhausted so we slept in a bed that was on a lean. The room with the fold out doors was blocked by the bed being so close to the doors. We tried to seek help from Silver Star, 
The woman had her arms crossed and said we do not book people in early. Never made an effort to ask who I was as a customer, arms crossed did not want to move. All this being the truth you would see on their security camera, of the efforts we made and even what I made to feel comfortable. After exhausting all our avenues of trying to get a clean room, that we do qualify for, we packed up all our belongs. I told my wife we do not need to stay in filth pack your things and let's go. And left at 5 a.m. Sunday morning. I told a girl at the desk this hotel should be ashamed of themselves giving us a dirty room with mold all over the shower. I made it clear we have to go and find a room that is clean. The girl said she was sorry about us having a dirty room. So that's how our complaint was dealt with I booked out and left. I'm sure the hotel will have a cover up story as they always do when they offer free rooms for staying and gambling. Many times with my stay, I have to remind the staff I am a guest not a worker and I am not an exercise instructor that I need to run around doing their job. That they are employed to help me with as a customer within reason. My wife is a RN that is a nurse and I am a qualified food cook, and we are trained in hygiene and infection control. <gasps> if this hotel are going to offer free rooms to loyal guests, then they better listen to the customer. And if they want to discuss our business with a stranger sitting at the seat, this is very rude. Another time we had to leave because our room smelled like the drug, crack. And the room cleaner said the girl who cleaned this room did not spray to mask the smell good enough. I asked the VIP person how on earth do us the customers keep up with the changes. You always have new policies every time that does not make sense, even like smart and educated people like my wife and I what I see is power struggles going on within the hotel and casino workers. And it would not surprise me the casino is going to file for bankruptcy. What has happened two times now is I have given the drink girl one dollar to get me a drink. She never returns and then another girl comes back later and says she was told to bring this drink. But you never gave me a one dollar tip you gave it to her. This is the drink scam. My wife and I have been invited to events at the casino to find out it does not exist. Or they have given our gift away. And you have moody workers who if you do not tip them they carry on like children and behave so rude to you. In our time that weekend we coined in the gamble machine over $4,000 used and this does not get you service. The workers keep on bitching about each other. As I said I have to tell them I am a customer and do not need to do the running around like a bitch on heat when the worker can pick up the phone and help me. I have also been told not to deal with promotions department who send offers in the mail. Ring and deal with VIP it is our job to help you. I did try and get help about our room at Silver Star. The lady did not move her crossed arm sitting on the seat then say we do not book people in early. I gave up and walked away. As a customer this casino is about brain games. And working out truth and lies. And when they communicate in another language other than English you know you have been screwed. If you do not have enough money to tip, some workers pretend they did not hear you. Even if you are betting 5 and 10 dollar bets. Be careful of the drink tip scam pay after not before. If you get a bunch of workers who act as if you owe them a tips, and you don't then your stay will be crap. I wonder how many others have been given a dirty room and lack of help and service from the staff because you have not been spending enough for that day you get a crap room. And dirty. As I said you will get full truth if you follow the security cameras and all the time I spent asking for help and a better room. I did not want it cleaned, I wanted a clean room I think there is such a difference here, being given a dirty room, is what they said my promotions qualify me for. I put in a photo, and also made a video on this also. Some workers are fantastic and are a blessing to that company others in power positions are like talking to a stone wall and getting help of any kind, I write this review in honesty because if you are disabled or not able to empower yourself, I can understand you could contract diseases or health conditions if you qualify for much a dirty room than we was given for our free stay that cost us about $4,000 used in the gambling poker machine and never guess what we came out as a losser. I complained to the casino about the service. I told them not to offer me free offers gifts if they are not going to deliver the goods as the casino promised. And never guess what they have sent less offers and when I complained to the promotions department about services. I was told that they can cut me out of all offers if I did not like it. Men's Help TV Scam Education